<laughs> so guess what, everybody? <laughs> we did it. Hello. So here is the tank roughly two weeks ago. We cleaned out a lot of the Hornworth plant, a lot of the duckweed, fed it to the goldfish upstairs, and we added that big chunky ornament that you see in the back right hand side of the fish tank. That was the only cave I had and it is huge, but we decided to run with this anyway. As you can see, this is a better community tank. We have three males and a bunch of females in here, guppies and our bristlenose plecos that we are trying to figure out just to see if we can get them to breed in the mix of this gigantic mess. This tank is in the basement and heated and we have several different varieties of live plants in here and we're just going to see what happens. I do get a kick of just watching this tank function. It is so very different. As you can see, we'll fast forward to today <laughs> and look what I found. I saw just these two little babies popping out from underneath my Anuvias. Now, I thought the day before that I hadn't had any success, so I added that cave, this extra ornament in here, just in case. <laughs> I didn't think I had gotten anywhere. There was my proof. So in this tank, within this two weeks, a lot of my top cover has grown back in and I've got a lot of guppy babies as well in this tank now. Oh, I just can't believe I'm having such a crazy amount of babies in here. Obviously the bettas are not doing their job of population control at all in this tank anymore. I have been having a very hard time finding the babies since they have learned how to hide in this mess of a tank so well, but I have seen a few wandering through lately. I'm guessing about 20 or so little babies, and the mom has disappeared at the time of filming this back into the cave, so I'm hoping that that means that there's going to be some more success soon. So talk to you guys later, and thanks for watching.